Welcome to the Convita Wellness From Home series. My name is Luke Hines, and if you take a little bit of a look here, you'll see that yes, I am a healthy cook, and I'm about to show you how to make some deliciousness. But I'm here to talk to you today about how we can connect the ancient wisdom of the past to timeless wellness for the modern age. Now, specifically, I'm talking about a quote from Epictetus. Make the best use of what's in your power and take the rest as it happens. I'll tell you that again. Have a think about it. Make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. Now, there has never been a better time to take that on board because you know what? In life, sometimes there's things that we do, we have power over, and then other times we just gotta go and roll with how things are happening. Now, cooking is very much like this. And I want to apply that particular quote from Epictetus into how it affects us in the kitchen with real, delicious, nutrient-dense food. Because if there's one thing I've learned over my time, it's that sometimes people feel that they don't have the power within them to cook quick, easy, and healthy food. And in today's session, I want to show you guys how you can create delicious, easy food and take that power and embrace it in the kitchen, but not only take that power, but have fun with it and actually understand why we're using certain ingredients. Now, because we are utilizing that incredible quote from the Greek philosopher Epictetus, I thought it would be fantastic if we had a bit of a Mediterranean swing on everything here. So while I scan through these ingredients, if you're at home watching this right now, I want you to have a little bit of a look in your fridge, your pantry, and have a little look out to see if you've got any of these Mediterranean ingredients or any Mediterranean ingredients of your own. Now I'm gonna talk about why they're so good for you and why they're so powerful, and of course, why they're so delicious, but I want this to be interactive. Not only will you learn how to make my delicious crispy skin salmon with Mediterranean salsa, but this is a chance for you to ask any questions that you would like. So make sure you hit me up in the comments section and at the end when I plate up this beautiful dish, I am gonna answer your questions if you've got any. In the meantime, guys, I hope you absolutely love this Convita Wellness From Home session. Let's get cooking. So the first ingredient, which is so loved in the Mediterranean diet, is of course healthy fish. Now, seafood is a huge component of the Mediterranean cuisine. Now, the reason I love salmon in particular is that it's a beautiful red fatty fish. Now, when we talk about fats here, one thing I love about salmon in particular is it's really rich in omega-3s, and we love those types of omega-3 fatty acids. Now, with the salmon, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a really, really good season of good quality pink salt. Now you might be thinking, Lukey, you are going to town right there with all of that beautiful salt. But I tell you what, it is so important. Now, one thing people sometimes get nervous about when they're cooking a new cut of meat or seafood is they want it to be good. And I'm gonna show you today how to make it good each and every time. So have a look at the pan here. What I've done is I've made sure that it's coming up to heat, it's nice and hot, and we've got a really good quality cooking fat. Now. As you can see right there, that golden goodness, that there is beautiful organic butter. Now, if you don't want to cook with butter, that's okay. You could use duck fat, tallow, ghee. You could use any of those traditional ancient cooking fats that people used to celebrate over all the generations. Now, in with that, for perfect crispy skin salmon, to balance out a good skin is we add a very popular ingredient in Mediterranean cuisine, is extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm just gonna swoosh that around the pan just like so, and then when that pan is bubbling just like that, we know that it is good to get that fish skin side down. Now get it in all of that beautiful fat, and we're gonna push that down. Now the reason I push that down right now is because salmon, this protein, it tightens and constricts when it touches the heat. So one thing I wanna do is for that beautiful skin is to make sure that that salmon is pushed down so it doesn't curl up on itself and create an uneven base. So that's all I need to do with the salmon right there. I'm gonna leave that to cook while I show you 
what Mediterranean ingredients I'm celebrating in this Mediterranean salsa. You're gonna need a good bowl, nice big bowl to start off with for any salad or salsa. Now, of course, I'm using a few simple ingredients that you can get at any shop around your corner and whatnot, but you could add some other ingredients if you've got things that need using in the fridge. So don't feel restricted by today's list of ingredients. Just use them as fantastic inspiration for what you will be making at home. Because at the end of the day, I'm trying to show you that cooking is quick, easy, fun, and most of all, delicious. Oh, and did I say nutritious as well? So the first thing in here is we want to create a beautiful base. Now today I'm going to use a great Lebanese cucumber. Now we're going to get that Lebanese cucumber right in there just so. Now cucumber is a fantastic addition to any salsa and I'll tell you why. It's really, really fresh. It adds a crispness and a beautiful mouthfeel when we are cooking, okay? So when you're making a salsa, you want crunch. Now you're going to get that crunch from the cucumber and did I mention that cucumber is actually packed with a whole lot of water? So if you've forgotten to have your good glasses of water throughout the day, cucumber is also hydrating. So make sure you celebrate cucumber in your diet. Now, the other thing I wanna add in here is capsicum. Now we know that capsicum is very, very popular in Mediterranean cuisine and for good reason, it's really versatile. You can slow cook it, you can roast it, you can char it, but you can also chop it up and have it fresh just like this. Now I'm gonna get that capsicum in there and if you are loving the colors going on, if you're loving the flavor combination, don't be shy. Show me some hearts, show me some thumbs up on this live. I love to see that feedback when I'm cooking. So we've got that cucumber, we've got the capsicum and already that's a good dish in itself. It's fresh, it's crispy, it's delicious, it's yum, it all goes together, but we're not done yet. So what we wanna do now is add tomatoes again. In the Mediterranean cuisine, tomatoes are utilized for so many things. Fresh tomato, tomato sauce, tomato passata, classic tomato sauce, all sorts of types of things tomato is used for, okay? But again, today we're keeping it simple to prove that anyone can cook, and we're going to use some beautiful cherry tomatoes. Now, the reason I'm using cherry tomatoes today in particular is because they have a beautiful sweetness, a slight sweetness to cherry tomatoes that you don't get in your regular larger tomatoes, which is I think I want to bring a little sweetness out of here. Now, we've got our core ingredients, our cucumber, our beautiful yellow capsicum and our cherry tomatoes. They're fresh, they're crunchy and they're amazing, but we need to balance this recipe out. What we need to do with this particular recipe, guys, is make sure that we add balance when it comes to a bit of heat, a good amount of salt, and a nice healthy oil through there as well. So the next ingredient in here is going to be some chili. Now I'm using some fresh chili, a little bit of a cook's tip here. Now with this chili right now, I have not de-seeded the chili, okay? That means that this chili is going to be much, much hotter. Okay, so that is going to be hotter. The seeds add a lot of heat. So if you don't want hot chili, take those seeds out and then just use more of the flesh. It'll be a much more mild result. Now in here, we also wanna add a good pinch of salt. Now I'm gonna give a generous pinch of salt. Now, salt's mineral rich, and as long as you're using a good sea salt or a good Himalayan rock salt or pink salt, you know you're doing the good thing nutritionally. Now in addition, we wanna add vibrance from these herbs. Now I'm gonna add these herbs just in like so. We're gonna sprinkle those on top. So much color. I'm absolutely loving it. It is so good. I'm proving that cooking can be easy. And if you can't tell from the tone in my voice, it is an absolute joy as well. Now, I've found spending a lot of time at the moment, I've been needing to reconnect with food. And I'll tell you why. Being in the kitchen and cooking is really, really therapeutic. It really takes your mind off the stresses of life. And I find when you do spend time connecting with your ingredients in the kitchen, cooking with love, it really does, it's, a, it, it's almost a form of mindfulness. It allows you just to focus on what you're doing. Now I mentioned, of course, a Mediterranean salsa would not be Mediterranean without a beautiful lashing of extra virgin olive oil, just like so. Now guys, we've got to keep up with our fish. What we want is we want a little bit of color coming up through 
the skin there, which is just beautiful. And then when I flip this, which I'm gonna give a bit of a flip now, that's absolutely perfect. Look at that golden brown, beautiful, crispy skin on top. If you're loving the look of that, don't be shy. Give us some hearts. Show us some love right there. That is looking absolutely perfect. Now, remember, I wanna run through this with you so that you build the confidence to do a beautiful piece of crispy skin fish at home. Always start with a hot pan. Make sure you season the flesh and the skin of your salmon that it goes extra crispy. And make sure when you're in the pan, you're watching it. Now that is so good. It's crispy, it's golden brown, it's absolutely perfect. Now, let's have a little look at our salsa here for a second. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a, a bit of a stir through just like so. Now, if you're a fan of citrus or acid, you could use some beautiful apple cider vinegar right now, or you could use just a squeeze of some fresh lemon juice. That's absolutely fine. But I wanna show you that you can create a salsa with the simplicity of just these ingredients. Now, look at that. That is color, that is vibrant. That's everything that we could be wanting. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to plate this up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place that plate there. Now, what I like to do, the amount of times as a cook, I see someone put all this love and effort into creating crispy skin, and then they cover it with their sauce or their salad or their salsa. One little bit of a chef's tip, always start with your salad as your base of your dish. So I like to start with the salsa just at the base of the dish like so. That's absolutely perfect. So much color and vibrance right there. Feel free guys to ask any questions by the way. Let's have a little bit of a look at this, throw that together. Now, when you put a piece of fish down, you wanna create a little bit of a bed, a little bit of a bed for your fish so that that goes in just like so. That's absolutely perfect. And then what we wanna do is we wanna cook your fish. Now I wanna talk about this fish for a second. As you can see, the heat from cooking the skin first has brought that beautiful color along the line there. And since flipping it, we're getting that heat coming through the middle. Now, let me talk to you about salmon. When you're cooking salmon, if you know that you've sourced a really high quality piece of fish, there's no need to cook it all the way through. And I'll tell you why. Salmon is one of those ingredients that we can enjoy as sashimi. So we can eat raw salmon. It's up to you how well done you like your salmon. If you don't know where you've sourced your salmon from or you're not 100% sure of its freshness, make sure you do cook it all the way through because you just want to make sure that that salmon is cooked to perfection each and every time. I like my salmon kind of medium rare. This is probably a good chance for you to comment. How do you like your salmon? Do you like it rare, medium rare, or why don't we just jump straight to well done? Do you like it cooked like a boot? Let me know, use the comments section right now. I can't wait to see what you guys answer with. Now, I like to move it around enjoy all of those healthy fats in the pan. If you like, now I'm gonna, that's how I like my salmon. But if you like, and you like your salmon really well done, I sometimes tip it on its side and I cook it on that side. And then I give it another tip on that side and it's absolutely good to go. But right now we don't have to worry about that because it is time to plate that up. Now have a look at this. Any excess, place it right down on there just like so now take a look at that that to me is a delicious nourishing quick and easy way now good season of salt on top just like so now as you look at that i want you to really focus on my words right now make the best use of what's in your power and take the rest as it happens have a think about that right now you've got the power to create delicious, nourishing, healthy, nutrient-dense food, and in particular tonight with that Mediterranean angle that I've been celebrating, you've got the power to do that, which means you will find that joy in the kitchen. It's therapeutic. It's a form of mindfulness, connecting with your ingredients and connecting with the deliciousness in the kitchen. Now, I've got a bit of exciting news for you. Obviously, I love a bit of cooking, but I've got a few cookbooks up my sleeve. And you've got the opportunity to win this one right here. This is my most recent cookbook, The Fast Low Carb Kickstart. Now, if you wanna win a copy of this and create recipes like this, all you need to be doing is make sure you're following 
at Convita underscore AU on Instagram. That's exactly right. Convita underscore AU, the channel you're watching right now, you have gotta be following, you have gotta be in it to win it. And if you are liking the look of food like this, and you wanna learn more from these wellness at home sessions, go to convita.com.au forward slash timeless wellness. That website again, convita.com.au forward slash timeless wellness. Guys, for me, this is simple. It's taking something I can control into my own hands, which is my health, happiness, and wellness. And for me, it's cooking with real food from scratch. I absolutely love food like this. It makes my heart sing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a little bit, one last little look at this, and then I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna take on some of your questions. So take a little look at that. Absolutely delicious. That is how salmon should be eaten. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Let's have a little look at some of the questions that you've been in. Here we are. G'day, g'day. Thank you for tuning in. Now, I'm just going to have a little bit of a look here. So, thank you so much. Looks divine. Uh, thank you. I'm glad you think it's good. Does dill help with flavour? That is a fantastic question. Fresh herbs and spices are such an amazing way to elevate food to the next level. So don't be afraid to experiment with either dried ground spices, ground cumin, ground coriander, even dried chili flakes are a really everyday addition. Don't forget turmeric, it's really fantastic. But then dill, a fresh herb through a salsa like this is absolutely beautiful. So I hope you're absolutely loving that. Oh, I'm seeing some of your um, Amazing, you're liking medium. Oh, okay, so Margaret, thank you for that question. Can you use mint? You absolutely can, Margaret. Now, I've used flat leaf parsley, also known as continental parsley. You could use curly parsley, mint, and if you love it, you could even use coriander. Now, let me have a little bit of a look. Would anchovies, okay, so so Jack, you have asked if they, would anchovies work for a little saltiness? Absolutely. I love anchovies. They're another example of a fantastic Mediterranean ingredient which you can put in salsa salads. You know what I've even done once there? I've even made an anchovy butter where I make the butter, I pound the anchovies into it. It is absolutely delicious. Now I'm having a little bit of look. Yeah, I can see that Dave, you've been uh, spending more time cooking than you ever have being in ISO. So glad to see. Um, oh, okay, Sunny, very cool. Can you use seaweed instead of salt? Absolutely, go for your life. And can you add something else but salt? Yeah, you could use um, you could use the anchovies instead of salt or capers. Capers are a fantastic alternative to salt. Guys, we've had some fantastic questions and comments. Please make sure if you want to win the copy of the Fast Low Carb Kickstart, be following Convita underscore AU here on Instagram and make sure you tune into the upcoming Wellness at Home sessions. I really appreciate you tuning in and I'm going to see you next week for another session. So be following, stay tuned to our Instagram for announcements and we'll see you very, very soon. Thank you guys.